Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. So in this video, I was going to discuss with you how do you score more than 140 in physics? Now, I'll begin uh, with a confession that I was not really good at physics in the beginning when I started my class 11 standard. But towards the end, in whichever paper I gave, I was able to score more than 140 in physics. Having said that, I was always scared of physics and I can understand why a neat aspirant would be scared of physics. So my question to everyone who's watching this video is simply is, why don't we like physics? Aisa kya hai? We like biology, fair enough. We do like uh, chemistry, but why don't we like physics? Actually, the truth is we do like physics. Why won't we like physics? It's the reason behind we are moving around sun. It's the reason behind I'm actually able to communicate with you. It's the reason behind I'm able to see why the light is of that color on and things like that. We like physics, but we don't like maths. Tabhi to li thi humne. Maths pasan nahi tha. So that is the thing. We don't like physics, but we'd like, we don't, we like physics, but we don't like maths. So physics to improve karne ka first important tarika, focus on those chapters which do not require maths. Yeah, both hard level maths is not required. Basically calculus ki zarurat jis mein nahi hai. Right? So calculus ki zarurat kin chizo mein nahi hoti. Modern physics, semiconductors, ray optics, electricity and magnetism. Essentially jo 12 standard ke topics hai. If we consider them, especially mechanics, we are definitely at our end. So 12 standard key topics and to a large extent, good number of topics, alternating current things like that. They can actually be solved with just concepts and a little bit of maths, not too much maths. So your focus should be on making sure that you practice them more or improve those chapters more at least rather than let's, let's say, you know, rotational mechanics. Rotational mechanics is something which everyone will find tough. But let's say if two questions are going to come from rotational mechanics and two questions are going to come from semiconductors, your time is better spent making sure you don't get a question in semiconductors wrong rather than spending too much time on making sure you get your rotational mechanics every question right. Because even if you uh, practice too much of uh, rotational mechanics, they, they might throw a googly at you and you won't be able to solve that particular question. Uh, take, again, taking my example, I got 116. I got 116 on 120. I left one question physics in my AIPMT means. That was a rotational mechanics question. Nahi aata tha. Hey na? My entire point to all the neat aspirants who are watching this is, it, it's a crime if you mark uh, answers wrong in modern physics section. Modern physics semiconductor, these are easy, bohati low hanging fruits hai, which you should get all of the questions right. Your practice should be so good. Practice and your theory in these particular. It's easy, yaar. even now I remember ki, you know, ki achha, if electron is particular orbit mein hai, ya is orbit mein hai, to is orbit se ne aayega, to energy difference, that energy difference will be equivalent to the h nu. To wo tumse puchne ki uski frequency kitni hai, wo tumse puchne ki uski wavelength kitni hai, fir wo wavelength ke basis pe they will ask you ki wo gamma ray hai, x-ray hai, ya, you know, ultraviolet hai, whatever it is. So, modern physics is not that tough. Same with Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Just wo lagao, batao kitna momentum hai, kitna, kitna momentum, kitna ho sakta hai, ya, position kya hai, and whatever like that. Second thing I'll ask you is that uh, these two things are actually interlinked with one another. So what happens is that a lot of people struggle essentially with time management. You know, you need time to solve physics. So what happens during the exam, what will happen is essentially that they will spend too much time on biology, too much time on chemistry, so that they do have very less time in physics. In that, you know, hurry, they'll make silly mistakes. So the entire point is that your, your practice in biology and chemistry should be so much that you have ample amount of time for physics. I was so good in biology and chemistry that I was able to finish my biology and chemistry in one and a half hours, 1.5 hours. That ensured I always had 90 minutes or let's say on the lower side, one hour 45 minutes, I had for 75 minutes so that I can easily, I can solve physics questions. So that reduces silly mistakes. So this is interlinked with their biology and chemistry. If your biology is strong, if your chemistry is strong, it ensure, it will in actually ensure your physics also becomes strong because now you'll have time to solve questions. You'll have time to think about the answers. If you're in a hurry in 30 minutes, you have to solve 60 questions. You won't get time. You, even you'll miss out on the easy questions also, which do not require too much thinking because you will be running out of time. Plain and simple. And this is one of the reasons I actually keep on emphasizing why you should read biology and CRT. It ensures that you spend more time on physics, not just in the preparation phase. It will also ensure you spend more time on physics during the exam itself. That will boost your score. Third important thing, that is practice. Ab iske baare mein mein kya so this is pretty much like, you know, which almost everyone keeps on telling you, practice, 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 practice. But my concept is, this is something my chemistry teacher told me in class 12 standard. 
uh so one of the what uh, we were learning about in organic chemistry and one person one student in my class one uh, guy uh, randomly commented ma'am in organic chemistry to ratta hai mujhse ratte nahi mare jate uh main to physics aur maths wala banda hu something on those lines he commented basically so uh uh i by uh, by uh, by the way i did not have maths i had uh, home science uh, just telling you uh, but my chemistry teacher said ki uh, you fool uh, uh, to explain to the people who are uh, english speaking audience the person said that i am a physics and maths guy i don't understand in organic chemistry in organic chemistry is just memorization my chemistry teacher replied with that your physics and maths is also memorization when you are practicing those questions again and again what are you exactly doing you are just memorizing the concept that is required to solve those question and i cannot imagine someone who would have summed it up better when you are practicing different types of question what are exactly you are doing the concept is the same right so practicing different type of question is nothing but you are memorizing how to solve that particular question you are memorizing that wo bhi ratta hi hai and that's why people keep on saying practice more the more you practice i'll take the example ki hame uh, we we are asked ki what is the resistance of the circuit so let's say ye r hai ye r hai to ye 2r ho jayega we know uh, series mein wo samne hota hai now isme puchhenge ki isme kya hoga to ye we also na ki ye dono series mein honge to ye 2r ho jayega ye r hai to ye 1 by r plus 1 by 2r uh, uh, the actual resistance will be something like this so now the question can become complex can easily become become complex so how they become complex isko hi wo thoda bahut modify karke de denge dheere dheere wo yahan pe ek resistance laga denge so we will know kaise parallel mein wo yahan pe bhi ek resistance laga denge tum confused ho jaoge ab kya ho raha hai wo yahan pe bhi ek resistance laga denge wo fir yahan pe bhi ek resistance laga ke de denge but jab tum aise more and more questions practice karoge na you will realize ki okay if they are giving दिस पैटर्न ऑफ डायग्राम इसका मतलब ये ये यहाँ पे रेजिस्टेंस में होता है और ये यहाँ पे सीरीज में होता है या ये पैरल में होता है सो द मोर यूर प्रैक्टिसिंग इट्स नॉट दैट कंसेप्ट हैज चेंज कंसेप्ट इज सिंपल सेम कि दो सीरीज में होंगे तो ऐड करनी है रेजिस्टेंस अगर दो पैरल में होंगे तो वो नीचे वो डिवाइड वाइड करके तो हमें अपनी रेजिस्टेंस निकालनी है बट तुमने बार बार क्वेश्चन डिफरेंट टाइप के क्वेश्चन एम सी क्यूज एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यू नो एम सी क्यूज एंड प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करके क्या निकाला कि अगर ऐसा पैटर्न सा दिया हो तब कौन सी चीज़ रेजिस्टेंस या कौन सी चीज़ सीरीज या पैरल में होगी ऐसे में कैसे होगी और ये क्या कर रहे हो तुम दिस इज ऑल्सो इन मेमोराइजेशन सो प्रैक्टिस इन दिस वे इज लिंक टू मेमोराइजेशन सो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एक्चुअली इज इफ यू सॉल्व डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन you will get to understand ki that particular question in that particular question how is that concept applied and if you're able to remember it when that question actually appears in the exam it will be easy to solve with that particular concept even if you're thrown a, a different type of question even for a person who understands the concepts completely agar ek different type of question exam mein dikh gaya na solve hona mushkil ho jata hai it becomes very tough to solve so even physics to a certain extent is memorization it's just memorization of concepts in that particular but how to in order to solve that particular those particular questions which brings me to ki kaun se questions humne definitely solve karne chahiye answer is with previous year question again taking an example from my apmt time uh, i absolutely do not have any ideas ki waves uh, मतलब वेव्स वाज माय वीकेस्ट टॉपिक इट वाज एसेंशियली अ पार्ट ऑफ माय बैकलॉग ऑफ क्लास इलेवन व्हिच नेवर गॉट कंप्लीटेड बट ऑब्वियसली आई हैव टू गिव द एग्जाम ए आई पी एम टी इट वाज अराउंड वन वन एंड हाफ वीक्स और टेन डेज अवे सो आई वाज लाइक हाउ डू आई कवर दिस यू नो आई हैव आई हैव टेन डेज एंड मोस्ट ऑफ माई सिलेबस इज कवर्ड एंड आई विल बी एसेंशली बी डूइंग द वन फाइनल रिविजन इन वन वीक बट हाउ डू आई कवर दिस वेव्स एक ही चैप्टर है क्या तो आई वॉज लाइक सिंपली आई विल सिंपली सॉल्व लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स क्वेश्चन I'll understand how to solve those five years question, the uh, the method given in that, and that's about it. I won't look at anything else. In this particular regard, I realized that this particular question, you know, कि एक गाड़ी ऐसे आ रही है, एक गाड़ी ऐसे आ रही है, दोनों के siren बज रहे हैं, उनकी waves हैं, and फिर Doppler effect की वजह से end में कैसे सुनाई देगा, and things like that. I realized this question is very common, and I just memorized how to solve this question. I did not, uh, in a way, actually understand how to solve this problem. Actually, frankly. that question appeared in the exam and i was able to solve it i for the love of god still don't understand the concept maybe but on the exam day i was able to solve and that's what matters this is the exam taking skill i am talking about i keep on talking about knowledge nahi 
didn't have knowledge but had practiced previous year questions to realize that this particular type of question is important and i shouldn't miss on that and i was lucky enough to get that particular question if you solve previous year question you will be lucky enough as well the last and the last case scenario simply is solve a lot of questions the questions you which you are not able to understand with your concept just try to memorize the formula this is what akash my teachers in akash used to in a uh, physics teacher in the akash used to say that neat is an easy paper it's not a tough paper so if it's an easy paper why don't you just and you are forte our forte as bio student is to remember then why don't you just mug up all the formulas and get the on get to the answer right so that's the worst case scenario that you can do and still you will be able to score more than 100 at least if you mug up the entire question uh, equations of solving that particular question with this equation that particular question with that equation okay if you're able to do that so this way if you actually apply all these things in the next three months you know you focus on chapters which are not maths requiring to ensure ki usme kuch galat na ho you practice your bio and chemistry so much that in the exam you actually get time so that there are no silly mistakes next you practice different type of question and memorize how to those self solve all these questions more importantly solve all the previous year questions and in the worst case scenario remember I can assure you, you will definitely cover get above one twenty and most likely get above one forty in physics. And this brings me, especially the last two points, bring me to one app I keep on promoting because it's such a lovely app, and I don't have any qualms doing that. That is your memory in app. So what memory it has done is to make your job easier. सारे previous year questions जो हैं उनको एक जगह पे लाके उनकी video solutions को साथ में दे दिया है. Because you know कि this is the most high yield thing. इससे रिलेटेड कंसेप्ट्स, इससे रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस बार बार आ सकते हैं टेकिंग माय ओन एग्जांपल, वो डॉपलर वाला क्वेश्चन सो सिमिलरली यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस एंड उससे रिलेटेड कंसेप्ट्स की वीडियोस देख लो एंड उससे रिलेटेड एमसीक्यू सॉल्व कर लो इट विल इंश्योर कि उससे रिलेटेड जो भी एम सी क्यूज यू एटलीस्ट विल भी थर्टी टू फिफ्टी ऑफ योर पेपर यू डोंट गेट दम रॉन्ग बाकी थर्टी अपनी मेहनत से निकाल लो And this will ensure you get eighty percent above in physics. That is more than one forty in physics. And now I'll just show you a glimpse of the memory tab. On me, how is it done? So this is the memory tab, and as you can see in this particular app, here are lecture videos, here concept building questions, here previous year questions with videos, and with that related similar questions will be there. So we go to class eleven. Let's assume we go to waves. So we go to set one. We will ask questions. We will answer random questions. We will check them out. एंड उसमें दिया होगा एंड साथ ही वो वीडियो आ जाएगी कि हाउ डू यू यू नो कि इसको कैसे एक्सप्लेन करके उन्होंने सॉल्व किया होगा सो इस वे में वील गेट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट एज वेल एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम उससे रिलेटेड एक्सप्लेनेशन पता चल गई एंड फिर उससे रिलेटेड तुम उससे रिलेटेड तुम एम और जो रिलेटेड एम हैं वो सॉल्व कर लो बाकी तुम्हारा वो एटलीस्ट जो थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रोफेसर क्वेश्चन से रिलेटेड कंसेप्ट वाले क्वेश्चन आने वाले हैं उसे सेम टाइप के एम आने वाले हैं यू डोंट गेट देम रॉन्ग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आई ऑलवेज से दैट मेमोनीट इज एन एक्सलेंट ऐप एज फर एज योर बायोलॉजी इज कंसर्न बिकॉज इज वन ऑफ द फ्यू एप्स विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एन सी आर टी सो यू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल कीप ऑन आस्किंग मी दैट यू नो वी वॉन्ट टू डू मोर एन सी आर टी बेस्ड एम सी क्यूज एंड वी वॉन्ट टू डू मोर एन सी आर टी बेड मॉक टेस्ट और टेस्ट सीरीज इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिनारियो मेमोनीट इज द ऐप दे हैव अ टेस्ट सीरीज दे हैव यू नो मॉक्स एंड एवरीथिंग यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो देर एंड चेक आउट द क्यू एन आई आई जेन्यूली बिलीव दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऐप्स आई हैव एवर कम अक्रॉस फॉर प्रमोशन सो थैंक यू so you can use my code uh, sanjay 20 my father's name along with uh, his date of birth 20th of january to get a 20% discount on memory tab so physics wala part to definitely memory tab ka amazing hai hi but frankly it is one of the few apps i've always promoted because it's one of the few apps i've always found is what biology ke case mein ncrt based so a lot of you keep on asking me how do we go about as far as your test series and mock test are concerned which are ncrt based kyunki kai coaching institutes waise nahi de rahe memonit has that as well wo bio ka part ho gaya physics ka part bhi hai so you can consider checking this app i really really like this app i wish i had this app during my point of time so thank you and have a nice day